You've all gotten that muscle pump before. We like the feeling of it. We really like what it looks like. But I'm here with Dr. Lance Dreher, who's gonna explain that that muscle pump that you enjoy so much might actually be something that's doing more harm than good if you're not looking after it. Yeah, you know, in the old days, we were told pump the muscle, pump the muscle, pump the muscle. And actually, that pump is junk. Really? Okay, lymphatic fluid just builds up in that area. So when that happens, it actually increases the amount of scar tissue over time if you continue with that in that area. Okay, so that pumping action that you think you're making you feel real masculine, really massive, really strong, is not a productive way of exercising. Really? really isn't, no. Now, you were saying before, it's not actually blood that's giving you that No, pump. it's lymphatic fluid, okay? Because you, you know it, because you have 100 trillion cells in the human body, and each cell produces waste, okay? So that's waste from the exercise, but yeah. it's sitting there. It's pulling, yeah. okay? So you have to get that out of there. And one of the best ways to do that is to move around the body like a pump, because you have 620 muscles in the body, okay, from the top of your head to the bottom of your toes. And if you use that pumping action and move that out, then your body has a better way of getting rid of that garbage, because that's actually what that is. Gotcha. So the lymphatic system is designed to really flush out the metabolic waste and... Bingo. So when we really are essentially looking at the lymph system, we're looking at the body's almost inherent ability to detox itself. Absolutely. But the best way is to get the muscles working so they do their job. Because if you have good tone, strong muscles, and weight training does that, mm -hmm. the correct kind of weight training, when you're doing nothing, just standing here, those muscles are working for you. Gotcha. Okay, using a roller, massage does not do that because the muscles aren't toned. Interesting. And I know when you're talking about the lymphatic system, you're talking about the liver, and you're talking about that entire process as well, that there's a, something comes into play in terms of actual fat metabolism too. Like if the lymph system yes. is working properly, then the liver is able to actually metabolize fat properly. Absolutely. So it's something that people forget a lot. Is when you're detoxed, when your body's naturally in its own detoxified state, your fat burning process is a little bit smoother as well. Absolutely. That's why it's so important to keep that, keep that stuff moving through. And the most important thing is make sure that you're exercising and nutrition plays a role there too, and you know that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Feel like junk. As well as hydration. Yeah, yeah. I don't know right off the tip of my tongue, but I mean, lymph fluid is by and large a lot of water, right? Absolutely. So, I mean, if we're not hydrated, then obviously you have more viscosity and it's not gonna be moving through right, its own right. ducts. So when you get a pump, next time you go into the gym, don't try to be isolating and getting constant, constant blood volume to one area because it's not blood volume. It's a lymph that's pooling up there. Now, I'm not saying the muscle pump is bad, right? I mean, the muscle pump still helps. Well, it makes you feel powerful because yeah. you know, I did that before Psychosomatic. Too, okay, but as you get older and you move out of that, okay, the mentality of getting the pump is, is, being a, is, is determining how well, how hard you're working out, to actually moving around the body to understanding that that, that pump is not necessarily good. Yep. Okay, it's the action of moving that stuff out of the system and moving around the body. And the way I train using the PHA system allows me to not only work with the cardiovascular system, okay, but work the lymph system at the same time because there's no resting. What is PHA? PHA stands for Peripheral Heart Action. It was a program, actually, a theory that was put together by an Arthur Steinhaus from the early 1900s. Okay. Okay, I'm working the pumping action of the muscles. As you, as you get in, in, into the older ages of life, like a baby boomer, and in my case, I have two, two artificial knees. I can't do your conventional cardio standard running, that kind of thing. So I rely on the pumping action of the muscles by moving from one part of the body to the next without resting, so I get the cardiovascular benefits from it as well. So I kind of want to circle it back to a little bit more of a full body routine in essence. So I'm going to go biceps, then I might jump down and hit quads, then I might come back up and hit chest a little bit. I'm just kind of going from upper to lower, back, back and forth. You can, or you can move from bicep to abdominal or bicep okay. to, okay, to, to hamstring or bicep, even to tricep. Just don't stay in one area. Okay. Now, now the general proximity, like if I'm going bicep, tricep, is there still a little bit, is that still a little bit too close for comfort? Ideally, should well, I be Now then you move from bicep, tricep, ab. Got it. Okay. okay, so you keep the blood circulating, keep that stuff moving around. Gotcha, yeah. that makes perfect sense. Yeah. So, well quickly before we sign off, what are three just real quick tips that we can give, three tangible things in like 30 seconds that everyone that's watching can take as a practical application to help their lymph system? Okay, keep moving. Okay. Upper, lower, upper, low, like a pump. Okay. Don't forget to exercise the neck because a lot of nodes are there. Okay. okay, good advice. And don't forget to exercise the abdomen because a lot of nodes are there too. Interesting. Because a lot of guys, and you know this, by going to the gym, very few people work the neck. Yep, definitely true. Okay, they don't spend much time on the abdominal. It's more of the, the extremities, the arms and legs that yep. people see definitely. that stick out of their shirt. Exactly. Okay. And it's, yeah. you definitely won't look good if you are not feeling well That's or right. you're dead. So. You, you can't, exactly, <laughs> and you can't train either if you're dead. Yeah. So as always, make sure you keep it locked in here and make sure you click on the link and check out Jigsaw SRT so that you can constantly have that sustained release right. of magnesium that you need 
to keep hydrated properly so that your lymph can do its job. We'll see you in the next Science Saturday. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, Thomas.